using integration we can also solve a very interesting situation in our economic analysis where we have the returns in the future as future consumption is not preferred over today's consumption there is a certain phenomenon that requires discounting of the future values and that certain phenomenon from the psychological point of view is the social preference rate that shows that how the preference of the individuals in a society decreases as the resources occur in the future. So for that we can use integration and we can come up with a more realistic estimate of a certain series of cash flows. Otherwise we will overestimate the overall value of all of these series of values. This is known as the present value and we are going to assess it and it will be uh, applied on the cash flows that we have and it will be done using the integration. So the present value of the cash flow of the firm is represented by pi. We know that pi is usually used to uh, represent the profit or returns of a certain firm. These are various parts of its formula the time is starting from zero and it ends at t any point in time any time any point in the future and then we have revenue rt that is the returns uh, over time and then we have an exponential decay term that is exponent of minus rt which means that there will be an exponential decay this is basically the term that will cause discounting in this continuous manner where the variables are assumed to be continuous in nature. Discounting is required because we do not value the resources as we value them in our current point in time or in present. So the DT term is for the integration. What we are doing is we are adding, uh, let me explain it from here. We are adding all the revenues that occur in the future from now, zero is now, and t is that future point in time and these are the returns during various points in time this is the process of discounting so doing the discounting we are accumulating all the returns that happen during a certain period of time now resuming the sequence of the statement rt is the function defining the cash flow over time that is the returns t is time which is usually measured in years because the time preference usually is effective when it when it comes to years because there is a certain time period which is substantial during which our preference for the future returns can decline if it is a short time span for example a few days or a few weeks it doesn't uh, amount to any substantial decline in the value in our opinion of that certain resource so an year is a suitable unit of time for allowing the uh, time preference rate to prevail and the discounting will happen. That discounting rate is represented with R and exponent minus RT is the exponential decay term in that whole thing. It depicts the discounting phenomenon. Now we are to find out that what will be the present value of the continuous revenue for uh, which is lasting for y years and it is uh, happening d dollars per year at a constant rate so d is a constant value every year we are getting d dollars and it is discounted at r percent discount rate this is the formula that we just saw and now we will try to simplify it we know that um, there is a certain time period for which we are uh, analyzing this series of cash flows so we give it y as a notation for the final year the revenues every year are d this is the profit and this is the substitution instead of rt we have substituted that constant value that is happens every year and then we do the integration d is a constant so it comes outside whereas the exponential function gets integrated we have done the integration here and then we have kept the upper and lower limits this is the further solution of the integration 
we have cancelled out a few things and then we have this simplified version and further it can be rewritten as this now after uh, solving the integration we are in a position to introduce the lower and the upper limits in the answer of the integration and we have done that we have introduced the upper and the lower limit in the answer of the integration and the coefficient remains outside we have solved this we get e exponent of no, uh, 0 which is equal to 1 and the other terms they remain the same now if there is a minus sign we can reverse the signs inside the bracket and it will look like this this minus sign is no more it is introduced within the parenthesis so this is the final formula that we have developed and we can use this formula to find out the present value of a certain uh, ca cash flow that happens for a number of years this is a general formula we why is the uh, periods of time involved in this example and pi is the present value that depends upon d r and y because uh, in the formula we can see d we can see r we can see y now we will do a numerical instance of it we are assuming that uh, for two years we are going to get 300,000 uh, units of return this happens for two years as mentioned and the discount rate for it is 0.06 that is 6% now after doing this we can now introduce those values in the formula that we developed this is the formula that we developed and in this we will put the values that is D and R and this is the exponential uh, expression now this is the uh, substitution and for the sol solution of the expression this is the next step which you can understand by pausing the video and do the simple algebra uh, using all of these uh, steps we can get to the final answer of pi which is $5,655 approximately now we should interpret this result as we can see that uh, 3000 currency units are accruing every year so 3000 and 3000 on the whole will be 6000 so apparently we will have 6000 rupees after two years but considering the actual situation where the time preference rate would prevail and will erode the value by a certain percentage that was done by doing the process of discounting we can see that the present value is not 6000 it is less than 6000 which means that we have done the discounting successfully and now the value is not 6000 it is 5655 so we can take the difference and taking the difference will allow us to see that how much of the value has been discounted which is 345 units approximately so it means a substantial amount has been deducted from the present value which is uh, definitely a more realistic estimate which incorporates the human psychology element where we prefer today's consumption of the resources over tomorrow's consumption and this was assessed by using the integration process that was definite integral that we used this is how we can use integration to our advantage to find out the present value of a certain cash flow. Thank you.